If you've been following this channel for a while, but also don't have internet access for some reason, you might not be aware that we've gotten an official announcement for Wave 4, which will be coming out on Thursday, March 9th in Japan, or Wednesday, March 8th if you're in the States. Now you might be wondering, hey, didn't we get the announcement for this like a week ago? Why are you releasing a video about this the day the DLC drops? Well, that's because I never actually intended to make a Wave 4 reaction video. The reasons for that are simple enough. For one, this channel is primarily focused on evergreen content that will always be relevant to fans of the game no matter how much time has passed. And honestly, it just feels kind of dirty making a 10 minute video talking about things that you could get if you just watched all the gameplay footage for yourself. And two, there just wasn't that much to talk about. I thought to myself, am I missing something here? Now, it's not that I think that Wave 4 is particularly bad or anything. In fact, it's about what we've come to expect from the Booster Course Pass at this point, which brings us nicely to why I've decided to make this video now. Frankly, I found the Booster Course Pass as a whole underwhelming. When we first got the announcement back in February of 2022, I made a video titled Cautiously Optimistic About Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC, and the main thrust of that video was that it was kind of frustrating that we were getting a lot of tour content, and it's more frustrating that that content seemed to be directly lifted from Tor as opposed to being, you know, actually remastered to match the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe style. But the most important thing is that as long as the tracks themselves are fun to play, I can deal with all of that. And that's the thing. For the most part, they're just not. With the exception of Sydney Sprint and London Loop, which perhaps not coincidentally are the only tour courses that actually feature meaningful shortcuts, the other seven tour-specific courses are low to mid-tier at best, with Sky High Sunday being one of my least favorite tracks in the entire game. And it's not particularly surprising when you consider that these tracks were developed for an entirely different game. But then that's pretty much the entire issue that I have with the Booster Course Pass, which is that it's blatantly obvious that the conversation at Nintendo went something like, hey, we already have a bunch of tour assets lying around, and not a lot of people willing to pay for them. What if we just put them in 8 Deluxe and charge people $25? Well, I don't know, aren't people going to accuse us of just being lazy cash grabbers? I don't know, maybe, but let's just say that we're remastering the courses for 8 Deluxe, and then add a couple of textures here and there, but otherwise just leave it alone. Damn it, man, you're a genius. Make no mistake, the Booster Course Pass was 100% developed as an easy way to continue to make money off of Mario Kart Tour content, which like I said before, isn't necessarily problematic if what we got was something that had a bit more time and effort put into it. It's pretty unfortunate really when you look at a course like Riven Road and see how awesome these courses can be when actual energy and care are put into their design. This course is almost completely unrecognizable in comparison to its Super Circuit counterpart, especially when you get to the Blue Ribbon section which has extra shortcuts, a glider, and anti-grav. And don't get me started on the lack of anti-grav in the Booster Course Pass courses. As I've made clear on this channel before, it's not like I have a particular love affair with Ribbon Road or anything. I'm just saying that you can tell that a lot of creativity and love went into making this track something special for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And that's just something that feels like it's missing not only in the tour exclusive courses, but even in some of the remakes, for example Boo Lake, which is basically just a shot for shot remake of its Super Circuit counterpart, albeit with updated graphics. I don't want to keep ranting about this, but you know, I've been seeing a lot of hype for Wave 4, and while there are some things that I think are pretty cool, like the fact that these courses are probably some of the best looking courses that we've gotten, the fact that Nintendo is not even really trying to hide the fact that the point of the Booster Course Pass was to make as much money as possible off of existing tour assets, has kind of put a bit of a damper over any excitement that I may have had over its announcement. Now, I want to be clear that I'm still very much looking forward to playing the tracks, and I will be streaming the evening that they drop, and all day the next day. I'm just saying that based on what we saw in the gameplay videos, I'm not really expecting to have my socks blown off is all. Are you all really hyped for Wave 4 and I'm just totally wrong about all this? I look forward to seeing what you have to say down in the comments. Thanks for watching everyone.